Hello friend, I'm Ward Simpson, President of God TV, and I would like to give you a personal invitation to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and as your Savior. You know, at this Christmas time, we celebrate Christmas. We celebrate the birth of Jesus. And who is Jesus? What is Jesus? Well, Jesus is the Son of God. The Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth on him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Salvation is not a formula. Salvation is not a theme. Salvation is not a book or a prayer. Salvation is a person. And his name is Jesus. The Bible says that the virgin shall conceive and give birth to a son, and his name shall be called Yeshua, which in English is Jesus, which means, my friend, salvation. Today we invite you to become a member of the family of God, to be born again, to receive forgiveness of sins. You're watching right now, and maybe you've never known him, maybe you've never received salvation, we want to give you the opportunity to do so right now. Maybe you're watching and you know about God. Maybe you even go to church. Maybe you're in the choir. Maybe, maybe you're active, but, but you don't know Him. You know about Him, but you don't have a personal relationship with Him. Well, this Christmas, what an opportunity, what a time, what a moment, what an hour to receive Jesus Christ and to know Him in a real and personal way. Maybe you're watching today and you're away from God. You did have a relationship with Him, but you backslid. You've fallen away. You've gone back to your old ways. Friend, God still loves you. And He's knocking at your door today. And just like the prodigal son who left his father's home. And he spent all of his wealth. And he wasted it in sinful ways. His Life ended up in a pigsty. Maybe you feel the same way today. Maybe like the prodigal, you're sick and tired of your life. Maybe you're lonely. Maybe you're depressed, even suicidal. Disillusioned. You're lost. Today is the day of salvation, friend. We want to give you this invitation to come back to Jesus. He's knocking on your heart today. Will you answer your door and receive Him? <laughs> Whatever your situation is, whether you've never been born again and this will be your first time, or whether you've been away from God and coming back, we want you to receive Jesus Christ right now. Friends, I want you to pray a prayer something like this. There's no special prayer. There's no formula. You know, the Bible says that with our hearts we believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. We believe that He was born of a virgin. We believe that He died for our sins. And on the third day, He was raised from the dead. And He now sits at the right hand of our Father. We believe that, the Bible says, in our hearts. And then with our mouths, we confess that. And we say to the Father, Yes, Father, we believe that. So in your own words and from your heart, ask Jesus Christ to come into your heart today. Ask Him to forgive you of your sins. Ask Him to cleanse you and to wash you from all unrighteousness. Ask Him to make you a new creation, a new person, to be born again. Say something like this, Father, thank you for speaking to me. I know I've hurt you, I've hurt others, and I've hurt myself. I know that I'm a sinner, and I know that I need salvation. 
Thank you for the gift of salvation. Thank you for your son. Thank you that at this Christmas time, I could receive the greatest gift of all, the gift of eternal life, the gift of salvation, the gift of your son, Jesus Christ. I receive him today. Lord Jesus, come and live in me today, and I will live for you. I turn from all of my wicked ways. I repent of them. Come and live in me, and I'll live for you. In Jesus' name. Friend, with a simple prayer like that, if it comes from your heart, you've just become a member of the family of God. Your next step, friends, is to go to our website at God.tv and click on the New Believers button where we have many videos and resources to help you in your walk with Jesus, to help you to grow and help you to learn. And I want to encourage you. This is the time to be serious about God. You need to probably separate from certain friendships that you know will just pull you away from Him. Certain friends that are leading you down the wrong path, friends. You need to break off those relationships. You need to get rid of all these articles of affection that remind you of your past. And you need to get into the Word of God, which will show you the future. God loves you, and God has a plan for your life. Today is the beginning of the first day of your new life as a member of the family of God. I also want to encourage you to get involved with the local church. Find a local Bible-believing church, a church that's vibrant and alive, one that's preaching the whole Word of God. It's important for you to have fellowship with other believers that will encourage you and pray with you and disciple you as you begin this new life in Jesus Christ. Friends, welcome again to the family of God. And thank you for accepting this invitation. God bless you. If you have taken this important step to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you are now a new creation in Christ. You've been called to live a full and exciting life in Christ. And we want to help you on that journey. Go to our website at god.tv forward slash new believer to find resources that will help you with your next steps and help you study the Word of God. Welcome to the family of God.